Happy Valentine's Day! Look at my beautiful makeup. I actually have blush on. Look at my earrings. Look at my little heart. Let's just say, Tony was like, I'm gonna get all dolled up. And I thought she said we. And I was like, okay. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go all out. I don't like Valentine's Day. How does Tony feel about Valentine's Day? I love Valentine's Day. She loves it. And yet I ended up having more stuff to go all out with. Uh, Tenley will take a video of me, my full outfit, when we get back to the dorm. We just got food for lunch. We've got a great plan for the day. Had to push it back an hour because it took us a bit to get ready, and by us, I mean me. Because that's how it be. But I am really loving my makeup. We're on our way back. Well, I was taking a real detour from the original message. What was the original message? What Valentine's Happy Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Look at my makeup, that looks great. I can't do it in line. Portrait. I like it. I can't. Happy Valentine's Day. Get the full fit. Quick one to let y'all know what I'm doing. So I'm doing my homework. Tommy and I came back from the bar. We ate. And we watched Big Time Rush. And we gave ourselves until four o'clock and then we started, we went our separate ways and we're doing homework right now. Also love how my lights are different types of bright. Um, and I am working on Latin, but like my conference for Latin. Um, so what was, it? what was it? Oh, seven or eight will be done. And then we're gonna have a Valentine's like spa self care day. And we're gonna watch stuff. We don't know what we're gonna watch. And my mom, told me to order dinner and a dessert and she and my grandmother and my dad are paying for it and it's so great my brother she, she's doing the same thing for my brother and Catherine. so i so excited so yeah um yeah i'll get back to you guys when we go see 10 lake all right cuticle care and email work where's that quote from name it i'll give you five bucks um we have colors we have, where's my daughter? There's my daughter. That's cute as shit. Here's my daughter, not my daughter, my daughter. Here's Tilly's new brush. Tilly has been ready to do her nails for quite some time. She has no idea what to do. Let me see your nails. Beautiful. Where's Dan? We're watching. <laughs> Going the distance. All right, what did we get? Not a cream cake. This is our dessert. It's small, I promise. It's like, look, my, it's small in my hand. <laughs> Let's go for it. Ready? Oh, wait, this is hard. Wait! <laughs> it's solid. <laughs> oh, it's ice cream, yeah. That makes sense. You're a little frightened. <laughs> Cheers. Action! <laughs> so I just like fall or should I jump? Fall. 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 <laughs> you are making a snow angel. Oh my god! Californians are so stupid. Look at your beautiful snow angel. Oh, your hands ruined it. Oh, oh, my god! It has little weird dips. That was pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie. Very cool. Oh, really? This kiss is pretty thick. Hello. Oh no. Gotta charge the phone. So it's me and JB at 3.20 a.m. Tenley just went to sleep. We just left her room. I'm going to take a shower. I'm actually gonna do some Latin. I'm gonna do my translation exercise. Because that's what I gotta do. My hair's up if you didn't know. But um, I'm gonna do my translation exercise and it's 3 a.m. Why are you doing your translation exercise, Gabriella? Well, because I have been having a really, 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 really hard time sleeping at night because I don't have Minerva back yet. Um, and that's just part of um, just some stuff I go through with uh, 
but just stuff partly my anxiety and then just some other stuff that I have a really hard time with um that I don't really share with the whole world yet maybe I will one day but not yet um so it's just like really uh, hard to sleep during the night um so I've been sleeping a lot during the day uh just because it's like partly we feel safer but then also like I don't know it's just I can fall asleep easier during the day uh without her but with her, with like without her at night, it's been really, really hard. So I slept for like three hours today. So I went to bed like 4.30 and I woke up at 7.30. Yeah, three hours. So I slept for three hours for a nap and I got up at 12. So didn't really, wasn't really awake a lot today. Also, I've been getting ready every day. Um, not really my face just because it's been snowing and when it snows, I've put on waterproof mascara and it's not my favorite thing because it's hard to take off and just a lot of work. Um, and also when you wear your mask, your mask you can really see your eyes. So, um, but I don't like putting no face makeup on because I'm just, that's just the way I am. So I've been, I haven't been really doing my makeup, but I've been doing outfits and I've actually been taking pictures because not a lot of people see them and I'm like, well, I start work next week and so I can rewear outfits, obviously. Um, and I'm really excited to do that and I'm just saving them in my repertoire for when I need to pull them out again. Obviously my nails are literally all different colors. Um, I'm gonna have to paint them again before work next week. Um, uh, so I'm gonna do that, but, uh, I start work on Monday. Um, my, like, the hours are a little different because we're not fully open, really. So we're only working till five instead of eight, and I work like two night shifts, so I'm not working like full time next week. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to start work again. I miss the library so much because it's not open. But yeah, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take a shower and then I'm gonna do Latin and then try and go to sleep. We'll see. It probably should it'll probably be about five by then. <laughs> Maybe late, maybe earlier. I need to get up probably by like 12. Uh, Tony and I are going to go to Walgreens at 1. And I got to get ready for that. What am I going to wear tomorrow? The snow stopped today, this morning. But there's still snow on the ground, obviously. Um, and it's supposed to snow again on Monday. And I'm loving the snow, I've got to say. It's genuinely so great. I'm a big fan. The only reason I'm not a big fan of it is because it's preventing my baby from coming home and I miss her so, so much. I cannot begin to let, to tell you guys how much I miss her. Um, yeah, she's just my rock and it's really, really hard without her, but it's not safe for her to come home yet. I miss her a lot. I got JB. Okay, so we're on a walk. Today is the 20th of February. It's also Olivia Rodrigo's birthday, for anyone who cares. Uh, what are we doing? Go to Walgreens. Why? To pick up some pictures. But wait, didn't we already go to Walgreens this time? Uh, we messed it up. Uh, we didn't have our pictures. Rough. It's the lock. Clean up after your dog. So, it snowed Friday and a little bit. Wait, it's Saturday, right? Yeah. So, it's snowed Thursday night and a little bit of Friday. This is pretty fresh snow. It's not like hard and old and gross. It's very pretty. It's very pretty. Um, Walgreens is a mile away in a straight line. So we just walk a mile in a straight line and then we go back in a straight line. It's a two mile journey. Now we're gonna get food and then I gotta do work. And we're probably not watching Succession today. No reaction? Very invested in succession. We just started watching like three days ago. And we're almost done with the first season. And we love it. But I have a lot of work to do. And Tenley's gonna not like that. Hi Tenley. I have work to do too. Huh? I have work to do too.
Today is Monday, the 22nd. I had my first day back at work today. Um, uh, Mondays, I now work the 9 to 11 morning shift. For those of you who know me, know that I like to stay up late. I am a night owl. It runs in my family. It's not really a thing that runs my family, but we all are night owls, so... Getting up at 8 a.m. to get ready was not my favorite thing. And yeah, I didn't. I could have gotten up at 8.30 and not gotten ready, but come on. Look at this face. How could I not make this face look good? She's so pretty. As you can say, I very am very confident today. Um, honestly, though, it was a pretty rough day. <laughs> I was... I was shelving today, and I don't usually have shelving shifts. Like, I know how to shelve. Don't get me wrong. I know how to shelve. But I don't usually have shelving shifts, and this was my first shelving shift, like, ever. And I was so high-stressed for some reason, partly because I had a different supervisor today. Not, like, we have... I mean, they're not supervisors. They're just people who are of higher position in the library. I mean, Lay is technically our supervisor. But, yeah, so we answer to whoever's there, though. And um, I've never worked with them before. I, like, I know who they are. I've met them, but I've never worked with them before. So, and they, every, you know, like, supervisor is different. So, and they were just very go, go, go. And the thing is, like, when there's three of us working, it can get pretty hectic, too. And there's no one in the library right now. Like, people aren't allowed to come into the library except to pick up a book. Um, they have to place books on hold online and then we will do that and get it to them. Um, some of them, like if the, like a person comes in and they haven't gotten a book on hold, it's like up to us if we want to go find that book. But, um, so we're not really doing, we're not interacting with people. So like, we've got a lot of like stuff to do in terms of behind the scenes. So shelving books, um, putting books on hold, putting books on reserve, that kind of stuff. Um, but when I was shelving, I like, also, there was also one of the, uh, one of my coworkers was putting, getting books that needed to be put on hold. And in some areas of the library, we have movable stacks. And when you're, when you have movable stacks, you can, you can only be in one stack at a time because can't, they, they move. I don't know how to explain it. Do you know how to explain it? I don't know. It's like a big block of shelves and then you can separate it so that you open up one like little hallway. yeah it's it's very confusing but cool. i mean it's i don't like it <laughs> personally i don't think most of the uh, people who actually work in the library like it well it seems impractical other than saving it is, space it's very impractical because like today when i was shelving i needed to be in n and this my coworker needed to be in n a and so like we would have to wait for each other and it was just very frustrating because I was trying to get two carts done. And then I ended up staying like 20 minutes after too to finish the second cart. And I would have probably not had to do that if uh, my coworker weren't also in the same stacks. And usually it's not that big of a problem um, because we're usually uh, shelving the first or the... Do we have... Yeah, wait. I'm trying to think because we have three floors but I'm trying to think, do we have one, two, three? I think it's just upper and lower level and then the main level because we don't have one, two, and three because you enter on the main level, but there's an upper level and a lower level. That's so, I've never really thought about that before. But anyway, so, where did I put my drink? Oh, I put it back in the fridge. Never mind. Um, so when you do that, usually we're on the upper and lower level, but we had... Some of our movable stacks downstairs were actually not working, so someone had to come in and fix those today. So um, my supervisor was just like, you, you'd probably just stay on the main level. And we only have stacks on one side, so there was literally nowhere else to go. Um, and it was just really frustrating for me. And so, like, I, <laughs> I had some, like, my anxiety was, like, just going because I felt like I needed to finish both stacks. And then I felt like uh, when I didn't do it on time that I was, like, and then I was going to ask my supervisor, like, hey, do you mind if I stay? Because sometimes there, some, some 
people don't want you staying over because they I don't know why there's multiple reasons but um it's it depends on the person um but I didn't end up asking because they were busy explaining uh to m my coworkers who had just come in like the new system and so I just did it anyway and then when I left I was gonna say bye but they were explaining something else and I just left and like yeah, it was just a lot and then when I came back it started snowing and I knew it was gonna snow today but it started snowing and that just annoyed me and then I also, before they had come in, I was working with two people I had not worked bef with before. And so, like, while I'd known one of them, I didn't really know the other one. And it was just, I'm I'm very shy at first. Bless you. I'm shy huh? at first. Yeah, I'm shy at first. She's nodding her head. Most people don't know that about me, but I am. So, anyway. So, there's just a bunch of stuff. And then I came home, or I came home, and I had to have back-to-back -back classes, which wasn't fun. And I had a translation exercise due Saturday for Latin. And I didn't do bad, but I didn't do great. And the thing is, though, no one did. Because in class, it was just... The vibe was off. You could tell we were all really stressed because it's getting really hard. And we didn't... We were going over the translation exercise, and we didn't all do great. And then we moved on to the next chapter. And she was just like, you guys really need to start... Or not, just like amp up your review because it's going to get harder. And it's just, it's just really stressful, her saying that. So, and then right now, Tanley and I just got back. Our hair is wet, if you can't tell. Why is our hair wet, Tan? Because it's raining and slushy outside. Yeah, so it was snowing earlier, like I said. It finished during, like, my Latin class, but it started raining, and I, we, you cannot tell. Look at the window. You can't tell it's raining. And I probably could have, should have, would have checked the weather, but I was like, oh, it's fine. It stopped snowing. I didn't expect it to be raining because I'm not from this climate. Just kidding. It's not a different climate. But I'm not from this area. I don't understand this weather. So apparently it rains after it snows. What is that? Sometimes. Sometimes. I don't know. I don't understand. It hasn't done that since I've been here. So this is the first time. But so it made it all slushy, and I went out with my spade shoes. Ruin my satin shoes. Why don't you? It's a clueless reference. But yeah, room my suede shoes. Telly went out in vans. Or vans. Okay. Yeah, she didn't feel wet, but they got wet. And we also didn't have hoods or umbrellas, so our hair got all wet. And we had to get food. And I'm just very irritable, because I also only got three and a half hours of sleep last night. That's for reasons we don't need to get into. That's on me, 100%. But I went to bed last night, or I left her, Telly's room last night. What did I say? I said I was going to be irritable tomorrow. Oh, I stay up doing my homework because I have this thing where I can't not do my homework. Why am I like this? Like, I I really admire the people who are just like, it's not, t I'm not going to do it. That Just have that control to be like, it's fine if I don't do it, you know? Because I really want to be like that. Because I, it's not going to kill me in like, my school especially. It's not like we, we don't have grades you know we don't have to have like assignments done on time all the time and our teachers even say that like in my eval last he was like she had all her assignments done on time and that was like a big deal that was so funny i was like yeah isn't that but anyway i mean in latin it really has to be but she gives us a week anyway but it's like not as much credit but we don't again there's no like grade averages like we don't have grade point averages you know, like we'll get a grade at the, like I'll get a grade at the end of the year for my three classes, but it's not like 99 point whatever, you know, you know what I'm saying? She knows what I'm saying. It's just, you get an A or you get a B or you, you know, you don't get, oh my God, I have a 98 point. I don't know how to explain that, but yeah. So it's not like me skipping one assignment is going to automatically drop my grade down 10 points, you know, or like a percent. That's not how it works. So I need to be better about being, I need to sleep, but I'm not. So I stay up till 4.30 and I had to wake up at 4, or not 4. <laughs> it's 7.45. So that's, I'm just, it's not a great day. And I really, when I got home from work, I had about 30 minutes before my class. And all I wanted to do when I walked in the door, and I usually do this, I usually do this when I walk in the door. As soon as I got home from work or a long day, I would come in my room, I would sit or lay on my bed, and Minerva would just crawl into my lap. 
and she would just and because she's still with my brother she's not able to do that and literally all i wanted to do today was come home lay in bed and crawl like crawl up next to my cat in bed and just like cry <laughs> it's i was just i my anxiety was very high and i just needed her and that was really hard when i didn't have her so that's that's what happened today uh yeah so today's monday i don't have any more classes today Tenley does. Uh, she's got Chinese and then, no, what do you have? Photography. Photography, sorry. Messed that up. She's got photography. Um, but I've got a lot of stuff to read for class tomorrow. How much fun, so much fun. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Maybe I'll vlog later. I'm outside my apartment for a second, just to show y'all the entrance and everything. Okay, so the door's all gone, but usually this is, mine was here, but I took it off, so. I walk in. This is what you're gonna see. This is actually Cameron's closet. She doesn't have a closet in her room. This is a closet from my room, actually. Oh, but as you can see, there's nothing in here because usually it's a triple. But I don't need that much closet space, actually. There's some cleaning supplies that the college provided us with. This is this is our common room. I mean, you guys remember our common room last semester. This is it. It's not really a common room. It's fine though. This is the kitchen. This is Cameron's room. Uh, this is the kitchen. Microwave. These are Mustafa's cabinets. No one keeps anything under here because there's something weird there. I think that's Mustafa's. These are. No, there's nothing there. These are Cameron's cabinets. This is my storage stuff, and that's that's a cleaning bucket. And everyone uses these, but they're mine. That's most office, I think. They're both cameras. Most office. It's not mine. We each have our own dish soap. It's really funny, except for Tony. Um, these are my cabinets that. This is like my stuff. This is Tenley's. This is Tenley's. And that's Tenley's. But Tenley has my other cup. Um, this is mine, but we use it for. We have a stove and an oven. I didn't think we were going to have an oven. This is the fridge. Got it pretty stocked. Um, Tenley and I usually keep our stuff in here and in here. And then we've got communal stuff. That's the water filter. This is the freezer. We stop the cooks a lot. So. This is my food that I currently have. I got lots of box stuff. My mom sent me these. Got this. Love my soup. Um, these are ice cube trays. I don't know what this is. These are ice cube trays that Catherine sent me, or Catherine gave me, and I already have one. And I could probably use the other ones. These are chips, rice and beans, tea, crackers. Uh, yeah, grand. I need milk though. Is that Cameron? Look, it's Cameron. I'm vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me walk in. Again, this is what you see. I am immediately right here. I'm in 3K3. I'm in Capriola's room. Tenley did my sign. I mean, this was originally for the bathroom. Cameron already had two, so now it's for my room. This is the first thing you see. Lots of stuff. Um, so right here, this is the door. Right here we have my keys, my lanyard, my masks, the office, and things I hate about you. This, so okay, there are three beds, and well, there's three of everything, let's remember, so. On the back of the door real quick, got the hooks with my towels, my jet coat. I had my um, backpack here, but it's on my chair. My umbrella, my purses, if I want them. So first thing you see are the three beds and then the two dressers. So I put blankets on these because I hate the way they look without them. Um, that's just me being me though. You don't obviously have to do that, but I did. These boxes I gotta get rid of. I'm keeping those boxes, that's why they're there. 
um, Minerva's beds on both of these because in case she likes to lounge. We'll get over there in a second. You turn, this is the walkway. So you turn, this is Minerva's corner. Okay, so <laughs> I love this so much. Okay, so this is her litter genie, her food bowls. Obviously, she's not here, so she, they're not full. It's her cat scratcher. And then here we have my pet. Okay, so it's not just Minerva. So this is Minerva's corner, but this is up here are not just Minerva. So that goes up here. So that's Minerva's little corner. Go focus right there okay this is my closet they provided me with curtains this is for hangers that I'm using or that I'm not using but I will use this is the hanger of the shirt I'm wearing right now I also hang up my outfit here for the next day so when I go to bed it hangs there um, let's open these up here we go I'm really jealous because Tenley has black curtains and I like it so much better okay these are the extra chairs from the desks I, I stacked them here are my backpacks Yes, yes. Um, my shoe things. These shoes usually go up here with my docks. Um, this is a box that I need to send home to my mom of stuff that I want to keep, but I'm not going to keep it to college. Uh, this is my donation bag that I got to do. This is my broom, my vacuum. Uh, over here we've got... Oh, no. I did it again. It fell. Uh, over here we've got my reusable bags that I keep right there. And then these are my heavy coach in my, I have my own like color coding thing I do, but they're not really in that because they're just like different lengths and stuff. But so here are my like really snowy jackets. These, this is like more of a blazer. This is a jacket, ja or a coat. Um, these are my sweatshirts. These are like my light jackets, my thick sweaters. Here's my laundry bag hanging. Got my keychains here. Uh, and then we get into like my light sweaters and long sleeves here and then my short sleeves, not very many obviously, and then the few dresses that I'm going to keep here, well dresses and rompers, the most of them went in there because I'm not going to use them. And then extra hair, laundry pods, let's close this, alright so then we're turning. This is my desk. This is my dinner and my breakfast for tomorrow. I have my tea kettle here and I put it in here because I usually drink tea at like 3 in the morning and that makes, it's actually kind of loud. Well, not really, but like I feel like it's loud because Cameron do usually sleep by then. So I do it in here and I just bring in my cup and my tea bag. So it's plugged in. Probably shouldn't be plugged in right now. Let's unplug that. Wasting energy. Um, so that's my food for tonight. This is, you know what this is. But it's a little different this semester. Um, so I don't keep my toiletries in the bathroom because the bathroom's really small. We don't have any cabinets or anything. So this is my shower caddy. Um, this is my lotion and perfumes. Under here we've got my extra towels to and tissues and antibacterial wipes. And then my books on top um, with my folklore CD. And then I actually keep paper towels in my room and I have this and it actually works on here I was so inventive so I'm using these two last semester I only had one obviously I only had one desk and it was fine but this way it just gives me more space and everything's not cluttered and I'm like at this point why not I have it I use it so here's my backpack this is the desk I use I made mega desk so here are my notebooks this is my latin stuff that I'm doing I took notes in here today so this is like my get ready desk right here um, this is literally, I sit on my black thing that I have. I get ready here. I, so now we're getting here and then I was waiting to show you this. Oh, I love it so much. Okay. So this I did kind of last minute. I, okay. So I printed out a lot of pictures this semester. I had over a hundred and I have not put them all up and I'm not going to cause I don't know where I would put them up. And also like, it's just too much. Honestly, I have like at least like 30 pictures of like nature which I love um, but I just decided not to post them so these are my aesthetic pictures um, these I actually took these are from the Met I took those when I came to New York for the first time and then some of these are borrowed some of them um, are taken uh, this one totally made and then the rest of these are from Pinterest and then obviously I have my great bulletin board more decorated than last semester and my uh, whiteboard and then I've got my Latin cheat sheets 
Um, actually, under my desk, I have, okay, here, these are just extra folders, but, and then that's my laptop case. This is Minerva's litter box that I put under here, so I don't have to see it. It's really nice not having it next to my bed, not gonna lie. Here's my little trash can. Amazing. My fan. So again, I sit here, and then here's my mirror. So, I had a mirror, if you guys remember, last semester. Um, and Tenley took it and stored it for me, and... Eh but this room already had it so Tenley is currently using the one I bought and this one was already here I'm probably gonna take this down because why the heck not someone just left it here um <laughs> you're wondering what the pictures around my mirror okay so <laughs> I I am obsessed with Callum Hood um let me just fix my hair so it looks good I'm obsessed with Callum Hood <laughs> I love him I've talked about the band five seconds of summer multiple times on air before this shouldn't be a surprise. Callum Hood is the bass player of Five Seconds of Summer, and I'm in love with him. And I will, if I ever get actually, actually get famous, and I'm a famous actress, and I want to date him if he is not taken. Amazing. I love him so much. So I have pictures that he posted, people posted of him, um, that are, you can literally just look up online. <laughs> um, I think I got mine on Pinterest and, like, the internet. And then I have pictures of me. This is where I get ready, this little corner. And then I actually do use the fan because my bed is right next to the furnace and it gets so hot. So my fan sits here and yeah. Here is the, these are the ones I actually use. I, I have one more than I did last semester, but these are bigger than I had last semester because last semester I can only fit like one, two of these. Now I can fit all three. Then I have my pops and I'm not going to take them out this time. I think it's just easier. And then this is literally like my Harry Potter wall. So I've got my Gryffindor. And then these are all pictures that I took offline, off the internet. So that's aesthetic, you know, just just here for the aesthetic. This is actually, this this is a door. I actually have a terrace, kind of. I We're not allowed to go out. That's what this is for. Um, it's for emergencies only, obviously. So Cameron and I share it. Actually, you can see that's Cameron's room right there. Literally right there, that's Cameron's room, that window. Um, and this faces out um I usually just keep it closed but um it's because this was an apartment complex before it was a they were converted, converted to dorms so people could actually go out there and, but we can't um so then we come over here these are my windows these overlook actually not our school but uh the freeway and highway and stuff this way is like the way we have to go to get to like target and walgreens and stuff here is my alarm clock that I keep right here. That's where I sleep. Here's JB. Um, my plugs. And then also I have, this semester I have that handy dandy little pouch there. It's actually really nice. Keep my journal. And then I like late at night I'll put my laptop in there and my phone. And this prevents me from like, well in the morning it'll help me get my phone. Like actually I have to get up and get my phone. And also just prevents me from like staying on my phone for too long at night when I'm trying to go to sleep. Um, yeah, and then, like, there's headphones in there, and I think Vaseline and stuff, and then, this is literally my corner, I just messed it up, but I have my shoes, I have this here, because I just keep it there, again, I did that, so Minerva bed, Minerva bed, my water bottle, this is usually for my tea at night, that's a picture of me and my brother, Catherine got me this, it says meet me in New York, and I couldn't hang it up last semester, I don't know if you guys remember that, but I could not hang it up for the life of me, it wouldn't stay up, but it's so nice that I have an extra one of these now, that I can just keep it there, another note, one of my nervous beds, this is my California thing that I had people sign at my bomboyage party, before I actually left, way before I actually left, um, so those are my friends back in California, these are my grandfathers that I have with me, um, yeah, and I just keep them here in California, close to my heart, and then this is me, and this is an important picture because I am a religious person, and um, this was the one I did one week at the Altitude Camp program um, for distance college distance runners. I did it my senior year of high school. They made an exception, let me go, um, and it, it was literally one of the best experiences of my life. I've never felt closer to God than I was, uh, than I have there. Um, up here, I think we're at 13,000 feet here. This was, these were our camp shirts, more than a runner. And basically it's just saying that I'm more than a runner, you know, I'm in God's eyes, I'm not just a runner. So it's very fitting for me to have these three pictures together um, just because 
I'm a religious person, and I don't know, they're just close to my heart, and when I think of my grandfathers, obviously I think of my Lord, um, and yeah, so that's, that's that, um, I'm not gonna spend too much time on that anymore, I'm gonna cry, um, this is my beautiful tapestry that I had last semester, it's hanging a little funny, but I love it, <laughs> uh, it's a little different, because I do have to have it as much on the wall as possible, so it's on the bottom, I, and I also don't think I would like it just hanging, but there's a little thing here, an indent, but I like it, it I think it looks cool, and then this is different than last time, because I got pictures, obviously, uh, last semester I didn't really have, I had that, like, two rows of pictures, if you remember, this semester I have so many <laughs> pictures, um, I would literally take you through all of them, but realistically, um, all of these people on here mean a lot to me, I love them with all my heart, there's a lot of duplicates, but, and it's not just, like, the people, but it's the moments, it's just a lot of people, a lot of memories, um, sorry dad, I know you didn't want these shown, but you won't be able to see them once the quality gets all messed up, um, but this is by my bed, and it just, I don't know, I love those people, so it's, oh man, why do I always get so emotional, so anyway, that's, this is my room, I'm pretty, pretty happy with it, uh, I do miss my slow two room, I'm not gonna lie, but only because, um, I don't know, it's, I, I grew a lot in that room, I talked about that, but I'm excited to grow in this room, I'm excited for this semester, even though we're on the fourth week, we've been in a month already, um, I have, I've had a slow start, and because of COVID, and it's still, you know, kind of here, I'm still dealing with it, just because there is the fatigue aspect, I'm not gonna lie, I still get fatigued very, very easily, um, and that's, something they told me would, would happen, you know, after I tested positive, so I'm still dealing with that, and honestly, it's, it's, it's impacted my work, not just the fatigue, but just being in quarantine for two weeks, and it, yeah, it's just been a long, long day, <laughs> and, um, so that's my room, if someone wants to say that I took advantage of the space, obviously I did, this would probably still be my corner, honestly, um, I wouldn't have that stuff up there. I'd probably go on this one, um, and I probably wouldn't have hang hung as much stuff, but it's like, it's really just the pictures, because everything else, I didn't bring anything new. Everything else fit in that tiny room, so, yeah, I don't know how to explain it. It fit before. It would fit again if I had to, I, if I had to make it fit, I, it would fit, you know? Um, I can't imagine living with two other people, though. That's so crazy. And it's not even because, like, I don't want to live with other people. It's just because my schedule is so crazy, and I stay up to all, hour, all hours of the night, or I'm sleeping half the day. And I was telling them, I was like, can you imagine, like, doing online school with sharing a room? Because, like, these desks were set up just in a row. And, like, what if, like, I was sleeping in because I had class at 12, but someone had class at 9, and, like, you can see me on their Zoom. Like, I just think that's so crazy. Honestly. Huh, JB? It's crazy. So, anyway, I'm going to sign off now. I hope you guys have a good week. I'm going to sign off now. I don't think I'm going to vlog tomorrow. Maybe. Um, I promise I'm going to try and be better at vlogging. Obviously, I got a late start this this last week. And, but it's all right because I had a lot to show you just in one day and I had a lot to talk about for one day Just because you know, I started work and everything um, And I feel like this week is the first week. I'm finally getting into the swing of things <sighs> Deep breaths I'll See you guys next week. Um, please 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 COVID stopping. I don't know why we have to keep talking about it, but Like I shouldn't ha I don't I feel like I shouldn't have to remind people, but I feel like I should remind people, um, I'm not saying that you guys, like, people who watch all the time are not following, people who could be watching for the first time may not be following all the rules or taking it as seriously or believing it as much, but take it from someone who's had COVID, who's still not allowed to test, take a COVID test because she's going to be positive for 90 days, um, COVID's not a joke, it's not a hoax, and, it's still happening. People have lost their lives. 
please, please, please take it seriously. Everyone wants this their world to go back to normal, but it's not going to happen unless everyone does what they're supposed to and cooperates, wearing a mask, double masking, uh, hygiene, washing your hands, uh, disinfecting surfaces, social distancing, maintaining six feet apart. It's that simple. Um, this, Like it or not, this is what we're living in right now, and if you don't like it, then help make the change happen because it's not going to go away by people continu- continuously not following the procedures. So please take it seriously. Um, again, have a good week. If you had a bad week this last week, reflect on that. It's only Monday, and I'm already, I know that by Friday night, I'm going to be reflecting on the week. It's going to be a long week, I know it is, Um, and I'm just, I'm already thinking about it. I'm reflecting on last week, even though I've already reflected on last week, Um, so just take time. Self-care is so important right now, because I know that if you are following the rules and doing what you're supposed to, you're not really interacting with people, you're not seeing people. You know, you're not leaving your house as much, and that's, it's hard, you know. Uh, I'm blessed to be here in New York. I'm blessed to be on campus. I'm so grateful for it, uh, and it's crazy that it's been almost a year um, since everyone's world got cha- turned upside down, right? So just keep that, keep all that in mind. Um, but mental health is such an important thing, you know. Just keep checking in on yourself. And I hope that you guys are solid. Hope that things are going well. I will see you next week. I don't know what's gonna, what I'm gonna have. Maybe I'll have some stuff. I don't know. Olivia Rodrigo is still number one. <laughs> Six weeks. She actually, her birthday was on Saturday. She turned 18. I know this is so random to bring up at the end, but I was just thinking about it. She turned 18, and uh, they did a skit on SNL for driver's license, and it aired on her birthday mind blown I freaking wish right one day one day people um I love you guys thank you for being here (sighs) be good to each other be good to yourselves see you later